Can you survive the apocalypse with just stuff from Walmart? I created a real life cooperative survival game to test our skills and the gear we find. We've only got 20 minutes and less than $200 to shop for all the gear we need and to get out of town before the apocalypse hits and the world descends into chaos. But here's the thing. We rigged the game against ourselves. Over the next 24 hours, we will experience challenging events, freezing cold, plot twists, very little sleep, and a surprising amount of fun. As part of the game, I made these category cards to help us guide our shopping efforts. I'm filming this secretly, trying not to draw attention to myself, but as of now, no one knows this is coming. I got a tip from a contact high up that warned us that this was gonna happen. They gave us their word that our families would be safely relocated right away. But for now, since we're far from home, we have to leave town and try to make contact with the transport that will take us to the safe zone. It's gonna be pretty cold, well below freezing tonight. All we have is what we're wearing, so we need to get everything here that we need. This is stressful. This Walmart does not have a compass. So we don't know much about this thing other than it's fast acting and it's airborne. So I, that's all we know for now. So my contact gave me coordinates to a really empty area where there will probably not be anybody else around. Hopefully it'll be a safe area to wait this thing out. So this simulation is written, so there's challenges every hour that we're gonna have to complete. And some of them are really rough. Some of them we can skip, but at a great cost to us. If primitive camping in the wilderness wasn't hard enough, then this will add a whole new level of challenge to the experience. Okay, car just died. Okay. <laughs> okay, so car's dead. Phones are working, but the GPS is down. Is your GPS down? I think so, yeah. Phone? So um, I have a, a paper map. We can do the rest of this on paper map and compass. Okay, so we gotta end up right here, and this is where we are right now. So if we plot a course around this marsh, it's about mile and a half. Once we end up here, we should be able to find what my contact left for us. Okay, so, keep going over there. okay, so I think we got a couple items in the car that could help us out too, in addition to the Walmart stuff. Um, so I always keep a tarp with me, a little survival tarp, wool blanket, and then I got a moving blanket. That'll be good insulation for us. And I got a couple hand warmers and a pocket saw. So at least it's, at least it's something. So we made it to the coordinates that my contact left for us, but we don't know what we're looking for or where to find it. I don't know where this thing is. I don't know if it's supposed to be up in the trees. What? Okay, so I think he found it. Oh, whoa. Look at this thing. Start here. Congratulations on surviving so far. To join our colony, complete a series of challenges, and survive the night. Once the morning has come, send a distress signal and we'll come find you. Distress signal? Okay. okay. So, I guess whatever's in that box is our challenges, huh? It's locked. So, oh, there's... It looks like an infinity plus infinity equals blank. Infinity <laughs> plus infinity? <laughs> Isn't that just infinity? That's super weird. So that's like, well, is this a three digit code yeah. for these things? Oh. Oh, okay. Here you have six beads. These represent your life. During the challenges, you may lose beads. If you lose all six beads, you lose. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, one for you, one for me. I guess. Okay, so cool. infinity plus infinity. Could this be anything else? Could this be an eight? Eight plus eight? Am I over? Let's see. What would that be? It'd be sixteen. It'd be sixteen. It'd be 16. Okay. 16. <laughs> so it's a three-digit lock. So what would you have 16 to do? Sixteen wouldn't be anything. What on earth? Maybe a, like a leading zero. 
So like zero one six. Zero Could that be it? Six. I can try it. Okay. One down, one to go. Okay. That wasn't too okay. bad, I guess. I guess I could just try it twice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be the same. I'm hoping this okay. is the same code. Maybe. Nice. We got it. Let's see what kind of box of goodies they gave us. Maybe it's like supplies and stuff. Yeah. What? There's another note. In this case, you will find a series of challenges. Each hour, you are to complete one of the challenges. If you succeed, nothing happens. If you fail, there will be consequences. Well, that's dark. Okay. So I thought we were getting a box of goodies, but apparently not. It's a box of like chaos. Okay, great. So we got one hour till our first challenge. So we should set up camp and then open up our first one. Yeah, let's get going. All right, cool. Looks like a really good spot in there. There's some like down trees or something back there. Looks like it might be a good spot for us to go. Oh yeah. That looks like home sweet home. Cool. All right, so we can get some food going, shelter, all that kind of fun stuff. Do you have any cordage? Yeah, that okay. was on my list. Okay, cool. Let me see what you got. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh dear. So remember, we were given these cards that we had to pick out the gear from Walmart, and one of them was cordage. And um, so we'll see what Joe got us here. So I went with 150. Sweet. And I went with the second cheapest one. Utility nice. cord by Ozark Trail. You I did where, good. I, I was stressed about this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I was. <laughs> it was stressful. <laughs> yeah. 20 minutes is not a long time in Walmart. For a cutting tool, I found this, which is kind of goofy, but I think it might serve us pretty well. It was only 10 bucks, um, and it's got a knife, it's got a saw, uh, a hammer, I don't know if we need that or not, and pliers, so, I mean, 10 bucks, it's, hopefully it'll work out for us well. So in a race against the sun, I began working on the shelter as Joe took inventory of our meager resources. It was plain to see with temperatures dropping below freezing that $93 doesn't get you much protection against the elements. No, yeah, that's uh, it's time for a challenge. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Uh, see what's in here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, I've got an empty sun-kissed fruit snack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what do we got here? Oh no. Rodents tear open your bags and eat their fill. <laughs> Lose one food item for each oh. team member who currently has their food on the ground. Oh. So, all the food was on the ground, so that's my bad. I didn't think about it. So we're gonna have to get rid of two items. So we'll lose crackers and Pop-Tarts. All right, yeah, and then we'll we'll get the food up in the air, I guess. Okay, sounds good. Sorry, I didn't even think about rodents or bears. I mean, right, right. I, gotta, I can't keep it on the ground. Right. What would you do? Stuff? Yeah. Well, it's not raining or anything, so you can just like set it on the ground or whatever. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Are you ready? Yep. All okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Yellowstone. Wet. Rain has soaked and exposed all wood. Gather more wood. <laughs> yeah. Wood under a shelter remains safe. Wear rain protection or lose one life bead. Wear rain protection? Yeah, like a poncho. Like we have to put on a poncho, okay. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't on my list, was that on your that's list? That's on my list, yeah. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. <sighs> I guess we should put our... Uh... I asked! <laughs> I asked! <laughs> Got one more thing for you. Dollar forty at Walmart. Nice. Some fire starter. Awesome. Fire starter. This would be really nice. Good call. Okay. Cool. Oh wait, our phone is ringing. 
We gotta do another challenge. We didn't get our fire going before the challenge. Oh dear. We'll see. Okay. All right. I'll take this one, I guess. Okay. The secret to a clove hitch is knowing how to untie it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. A dice. Chance. I don't like chance elements in games. Like, uh, scares me. Are we gonna play Monopoly? I uh, uh, <laughs> doubt it. Small game are present. Oh. Rabbits and squirrels. You may choose to exchange a food item as bait for a trap or lose one life bead. If you choose to attempt to trap small game, roll a dice three times. Best of three wins. Even equals wins mystery food item in bag. Odd must throw bait item into the fire. We still have a decent amount of food Kay. to exhaust. Yeah, we don't know how, exactly how long we're gonna be out so here. So I think having something yeah. unique, yes. something different than what I brought would be Kay. a huge asset. Okay, cool. I think we should do it. So we could try, we're gonna try for it. All right, yeah. best of three wins. All right. Yeah. Any more Pop-Tarts? Give yeah, up the Pop-Tarts? That'd be nice. Here we go. Two. Two. That's even. No, it's even, okay. That's the three, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. One. Uh, no. Odd. Okay. okay. It, it is. is. Two. Two. All okay. Right. We got okay. it. Okay. Sweet. So what's our mystery food? What do we get? Strawberry granola. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that sounds awesome. It's actually really good. Cool. Perfect. Nice. That could have been bad. Okay. Right. Gordon, yes. I need a fire. Let's do this. Please. There's a lot of hours between now and tomorrow. There's a lot of challenges left to go. Oh boy. Makes me wonder. <laughs> okay, it's starting to get pretty dark now, so I was in charge of lights. And here's what I brought. So I found a nice little kit, another Ozark product. It had two larger flashlights that'll be pretty good. Two like like pen-sized lights. They're a little softer, but I figure we can just keep them on our person and if we have to get up at night, we have them. Gordon likes his headlamps, so I got a little headlamp for him. And then inside the shelter, there's a little lamp um, that has this setting and then also a nice little LED inside that also flickers. So got some options. Okay, what do we got? Pandora's box. Oh, these are not fun. Oh boy, all right. Knots, knots, where are the knots? Clove hitches, they tied clove hitches in them, which is great, it's a constrictor knot. A type of constrictor knot. Oh my gosh, he's learning. You're gonna be a pro by tomorrow. SAS survival, survival Guide. Yep, the SAS Survival SAS Guide. SAS Survival Guide for any climate or any situation. It's the best, I the best reference. This. I, this is my favorite reference guide for survival. That's awesome. Sickness. Ooh. Your team member falls ill and is unable to do anything. Using a survival manual, okay, find a suitable remedy and bring it to your team member. The remedy can be found in nature or in your equipment. Your team member must sit out from the challenge and cannot talk or assist you until the remedy is found. Lose one life bead each. If this challenge is not completed within 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, I know this is supposed to be for everybody, but you're the survival guy. You need to take this. I'm gonna sit out. <laughs> I think you opened it, so you gotta do it. What? Yeah. No! Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, okay. So after looking at Gordon for a bit, I think what he's dealing with is a horrible headache. So looking through the book, I found that I can make a tea um, out of willow bark, um, but I just don't have 14 minutes to brew a tea. So instead, um, it says that this produces the same result as aspirin. So I actually do keep some Advil in my backpack at all times, um, that's just for a situation like this. So that's perfect. Okay, so I know you have a headache um, and I can't fix it with a willow tree, but I can fix it with EDC. So um, I keep this in my backpack all the time. Um, it's some Advil, and hopefully this will help you with your headache. Nice, <laughs> fix it with EDC. I like it, I'm feeling better already. And uh, yeah, 13 minutes and change. So uh, we passed the challenge. For our next challenge in like half an hour, <laughs> uh. you think we could try to do some food? Yeah. What, do you, what did you get for food? 
Okay, so for dinner, we have two options for soup. I got crackers. Ooh. I got spam. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're talking my language And then a few now. things for breakfast and a few drink options. Oh my gosh, um, drink options. But I'm just realizing. Okay. And silverware. Ooh. No. Uh, we'll have to make. We'll have to make it. So I poke a couple holes just to get the spam out. Comes out a little easier. Yes. Oh. Whew. Oh man. Yeah. All right. Well, finishing up this spoon here. It's looking good. Yeah. Oh. Uh. We got another challenge to do. Like. Yep. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Yep, it's All right. time. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, another, uh, another challenge. Yeah. Challenge. Okay. Choose from the box of torture. Oh. All right. All right, what do we have this time? Let's see here, we got... Ooh. Flint and Steel. The worst case scenario survival card game. Emergency ponchos. Emergency ponchos, Heat okay. Heat blanket ponchos. Oh, nice. Now it's white's tip. Oh. Save me. Hypothermia. <laughs> Trivia. Icy stream. Blizzard. Walking through the woods, you accidentally step through thin. Answer two questions correctly in two minutes. Your core tip is or two life beads. Whoa. Dry them by the fire, oh. Stop. The other team member reads the questions and may allow you to chew the bones. Their bone marrow contains enough water to prevent. Alright. Is that A? No, C. What? Okay. We'll come to actually be. Uh, no, it is A. A, dang it, I, I knew it was night. <laughs> There's one life bead if you don't have a fire. Hey! Hey! All right, oh. okay. All right. Guys, we can close this up and it'll keep us all warm. Ah. No! <laughs> oh, man. Stupid trivia. <laughs> Stupid trivia. Knowledge makes a difference. Well, this one doesn't have... This, there's no bag with this one, so now I'm really worried. <clears throat> Make fire. Well, we've already oh, done that. Yeah. Use the supplies we gave you to make a flint and steel fire. Oh. We need to actually make the supplies first. So they gave us a tin, they yeah. gave us flint and steel, and then they gave us the like cotton. t-shirt piece. Yeah. yeah. So what we need to do is make char cloth. So char that's cloth. the first step. You're gonna have to make char cloth. I don't even know what that is. All right, we're gonna teach you. <laughs> okay. Oh, yep, that one right there. Nice. Okay, is that too yeah. big? Is it okay? That'll work. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Looks like you'll feel like Right in the fire? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a... Wait, once you see the smoke go away. Up, oh, there you go. See the fire? Just caught fire. So that's actually flammable gas that's coming out of there. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to let that cool down completely before we open it up. Or a feather stick. We <laughs> call them feather sticks these days. We usually call them fuzz sticks. When I was so we've got the bird's nest. I've got the uh, burlap from the case. Oh yeah. Because um, yeah. we could, we didn't have any dry leaves. Yep. A bunch of twigs. Yep. And we made a fuzz stick. Made a fuzz stick. Yep. Exactly. Yep. A feather stick. A feather stick. Oh, cool. Bring it. Char cloth. Char cloth. Char cloth turned out real nice. Yeah. All right. So let's give it a shot. There we go. Nice. Now get that thing wrapped around it. Just start pushing on it, blowing into it.
Hey, you made fire! <gasps> fire! <laughs> Flint and ah. steel. Primitive fire making. Primitive fire making. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> That was fun. <sighs> that was so cool. That feels <laughs> amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I think I think that's a great way to end the night. So we gotta sort our shelter out a little bit and then get get in there, try to get some some sleep before the next challenge hits us. Hits us. Yep. Here we go. <coughs> you were able to sleep? No. Okay. <clears throat> we got. Oh, we have cordage. Yes. Bank line. Bank line, and two cans. All right. We're gonna make like a old like phone. <laughs> you hear strange noises deep in the woods. The whole team must. Uh, oh come on, really? <laughs> the whole team must walk out 50 paces from camp and investigate the source of the noise. Construct a perimeter alarm and return to camp. You may postpone the event for two hours in exchange for a life bead. Ooh. So we could get two, we could get two hours of sleep for one life bead. We've been doing okay. Yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go let's big or go, go do home. It. All right, you heard right. the man. How, how high do we think we could? Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut in this. Good. All right, here's my trigger. I got two loops. Goes over the string. That works pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's so quiet here. We'll hear it. Oh my gosh. It's so quiet. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Challenged. Oh, next one. All right. Okay. What do we got? Okay. So we have just a bunch of burlap. You forgot to double knot your shoelaces. You trip and dislocate your shoulder. You must wear a sling for the remainder of this challenge. Okay. Skip event for one life bead. I don't think I want to be in a sling for the rest of this challenge. That I got would be a long horrible. way. All we got all night. I think we've worked really hard to preserve our life yeah. beads. For we this, might as well use it for yeah. this very certain I situation. I agree. Do you have the knife? Yeah. We have. Oh, this doesn't look good. Yeah gauze and tape oh. cold fingers and frozen gear is an accident waiting to happen choose one item each to lose or bandage a hand and lose one life bead oh can we stand to lose things i don't feel like it would be smart to lose gear being as that we are so we're in a survival we're situation, in a survival situation. <sighs> so which hand are you gonna bundle up well, I'm a southpaw, so yeah. <laughs> gonna go with the. Uh, yep, <laughs> makes sense. Gonna go with the right. <sighs> okay. I know, right? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Lavender. <laughs> no power. All batteries have become exhausted. Use only candles or a fire for illumination for the remainder of the challenge. Bonus, if you have a combined total of six beads or more, you may sleep the remainder of the night and resume the challenges in the morning. Yeah. Do we have? Yeah, we got three. I got three. Right? You got three? I've got, I've got three. I've got three. Sweet. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, that's good news. Um, oh, great. Thank you. We just don't have lights. Well, so. 
Okay. We'll light our candle. There they go. Oh, here we are. It is morning. Morning time. How uh, how'd you uh how did you how were you last night? I know we didn't sleep much. It was cold. Yeah. It was really cold. Yeah, it was really cold. Yeah. Really, really cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But uh we survived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, we're alive. Yes, we are. That's something. That is something. So, um I think plan is we should break down camp and figure out what the last the last thing in the box is that's gold all right last almost last challenge last challenge <laughs> Ah, okay. <clears throat> radio. It's a radio. Okay. Oh, God. Contact. Using your radio, attempt to make contact once every hour for the remainder of the challenge. If you make contact, send your coordinates and prepare an LZ complete with high contrast ground signals for rescue. There we okay. go. All right. So we know what we got to do. It. Cool. This was a test. A simulation of hardship and suffering. It has been said that between stimulus and response, there is a space. And in that space is a freedom and power to choose your response. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find meaning in that suffering. Perhaps one day there will be a rest that fills us, a drink that quenches, and a love that makes us feel known. Where sting and tears are of no use, or wars of blood and bone. But until then, we strive, we breathe, we practice peril. So if needed, we will be ready.